Hello everyone. Today I'm going to discuss about how we can generate a script migration in NTT framework. So uh, these are the topics. These are the topics we are going to discuss today. The first generate a script for all the migration. This means using this syntax we can generate entire script and the number two we are going to discuss about generating the script after certain migration so let's say if the migration name is initial migration and if we want to generate a script after initial migration so we have to uh, write like this script migration initial migration so this will exclude the script that's of that's in initial migration and the third is let's say if you want to uh, generate a script from certain migration to certain migration let's say we have five migration and if you want to generate a script from three to five so in this case we have to write the initial migration and the ending migration the initial migration that we write that will be exclusive so we have let's say if you want to generate a script from three to five then we have to mention here two so two will be excluded and it will start from three to five or we can have like this we can use from and to this will also ex exclude the this from name and there is one extra things that i'm going to uh, this is get package in package manager so using this command actually we can do what are the packets what are the packets running what are the packets we have installed in the nugget packets manager and also we can know the version of those packets so let's generate some scripts now let's if you want to use if you want if we want to generate all the scripts so let's try this one I have this one application and under this actually there are two migration scripts actually the first one is initial and the second one after that we have second one so first I want to generate all the scripts so I'll go to the package manager console and just type a script manager and press enter so the script is generated this is the complete script whole script and by right clicking we can open the container and this is the actually script we can just copy from here we can go to desktop and then we can press now you can rename it if you want to put some name and that's the complete script for all the migration now let's see if you want to script for few of them only so let's say we go to the second one that means and we have to keep here script uh, migration name and then uh, that's let's say we have initial migration this is the name and we put here so this will this will exclude the first migration and then a script for others if we have let's say now we have only two but let's say if we have many scripts so the first will be excluded and other all will be included so here we have just generated this 
script and this is actually a script for second migration the second one in same way we have other also the first this one either we can go this one or this one both is same just here we are using from and to and here we don't have from and to but both work same way both the first the from one will be excluded let's say we have to try this one just clear that and we want to keep here the name of first one yes copy first here and let's say now we have only two so we just put first one as the from and the second one in the two let's say we have many five or ten so we just copy until which migration we have a script so we'll put here so in this case actually since we have only two the first will be excluded and we got we'll get only a script for the second migration so here got the script and we can just copy here and we do this one if we want to put this one into production then just copy and run in production okay so this these are the script these are the files for generating the scripts now we have one extra things also let's see if we want to see what are the nugget packages i have installed so i just put get package and this will be all the packages will be listed and also we can know so in that case if we see the first one entity framework core so i am using version 3.1.1 so in so using this get dash package we can know actually we, this is the all the packages will be listed with version okay guys that's all for now everybody stay safe i'll see you in next time bye